Now surely one of the most anticipated smartphones of 2020 has to be Sony's new Xperia 1 Mark II flagship phone, especially if the comment section on all of my videos is anything to go by. It's a situation that's certainly not helped by those ever increasing delays, although to Sony's credit they appear to be down to the fact that the manufacturer wants to improve the camera tech as much as possible to make sure it puts out some really top quality optics to rival the likes of Samsung's Galaxy S20s and Huawei's P40 Pro. But this week it appears that Sony Mobile has decided to stop just teasing us all and actually spunk out a couple more details on the Xperia 1 Mark II's camera setup and features, including finally a couple of photo samples too. So now we have a more or less complete picture on what to expect from Sony's Xperia 1 Mark II camera setup ahead of the official release. So here's the full skinny and for more on the latest greatest tech please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now first up, we basically already knew what to expect as far as the hardware goes. What you get here is a triple lens setup with a 12 megapixel f1.7 primary lens, you get a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide angle lens, and a 12 megapixel f2.4 telephoto shooter, which boasts a spot of optical image stabilization just like that primary lens. On top of that, you also get a time of flight sensor to help with the focus, while around the front of the Xperia 1 Mark II, you've got an 8 megapixel selfie cam. So those rear megapixel counts haven't changed at all for the Mark II compared with the original Xperia 1, but what you now have instead is a new dual photo diode sensor which is apparently 50% more sensitive to light compared with the original Xperia 1. This is apparently used for both the primary and the wide angle lenses and should help the Xperia 1 Mark II perform better in low light, which is definitely one of the major limitations of last year's flagship. As you can see in these here samples that Sony has shared, the Mark II can capture finer detail at night time while lighter elements are tempered so they don't appear blown out. It's quite a subtle difference at first glance, but there is a definite improvement when you look closer. One of the other big upgrades compared with the original Xperia 1 as well is the improved autofocus and auto exposure, which now allows the phone to burst shot at a stunning 20 frames per second. While the camera can actually perform up to 60 calculations a second when working on the focus, with dedicated eye autofocus now for both humans and animals. And that is of course just for the primary lens, but even the telephoto and wide angle lenses can perform burst shot up to 10 frames per second while performing up to 30 calculations in the same time frame, so not much of a sacrifice if you do want to get a different viewpoint. Factor in that time of flight lens and the improved face detection autofocus which now uses 70% of the sensor surface and your subject should be kept pin sharp even when bounding about the place whether you own a hyperactive dog or a similarly hyperactive small human being. And with the Xperia 1 Mark II we also have an introduction to a partnership between Sony and Zeiss as well, we're obviously already used to seeing Zeiss branded optics on Nokia smart smartphones, but now we've got a secret ingredient here with the Sony Zeiss lenses, or actually not so secret because Sony's told us all about it. This new tech is the T-Star anti-reflective coating, which can apparently help to prevent flaring and other issues that you normally see when shooting photos in bright light. Basically the kind of stuff that gets Michael Bay all moist in the crotchal region and just annoys the rest of us. And the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II camera also introduces Sony's new Photo Pro app as well, which apparently offers next level manual controls just like a proper Sony Alpha camera. And this should really help to unlock all of the camera's talents and allow you to capture some absolutely gorgeous, stunning shots. We already knew about Photo Pro before, but apparently it's been tweaked and improved ahead of the launch thanks to some professional photographer guinea pigs. So now you'll have fast access to all of the most useful camera features and you can play around with the likes of the eye tracking and super fast autofocus and exposure. But apparently all this last minute tinkering means that the Photo Pro mode won't quite be ready in time for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II's official launch in Japan towards the end of May. So it looks like you might have to wait till sort of June, July time before that finally trickles through in an update. Now as for video, well you'll be able to shoot up to 4K resolution footage with HDR smarts once again. Hopefully that HDR has been improved over the original Xperia 1 because it wasn't quite as strong as quite a lot of the rivals. And of course you'll once again be able to shoot in that glorious 21 by 9 cinematic aspect ratio for a very different look and feel. And yes, that excellent Cinema Pro mode is apparently back on board, this time with improved wind filtering on top of the usual excellent manual focus and in-depth controls. So that right there in a nutshell is everything we know so far about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II's camera tech, unless I've left anything out, which gives definitely please bung it in the comments down below, but definitely very very excited about finally getting my hands on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II for an in-depth test of that camera tech. So please do let me know what you think down in the comments below. Will the Mark II be a winner or will it be a bit of a dud? What's your own personal opinion so far based on everything we've heard? Please do pop subscribe, ding that notifications bell and hopefully I'll be able to bring you a review of this bad boy soon. Cheers everyone, love you!